Our next question is a written submission from Gideon Rose, who asks, with Europe and the West newly armed and unified, Russia isolated on the opposite side of a new Cold War, and China, India, and much of the Middle East playing their own independent games. Is this crisis showing us what post-American hegemony multipolarity looks like in practice? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think that's a, I, I, it, the short answer is the best answer on this one, Gideon. Yes. Anybody else want to add to that? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, Amani, I, 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 I agree. I agree mm -hmm. too. Yes. <laughs> um, well, maybe. I mean, you, know, been... like, you know, Justin, I, I, I might elaborate just, just a little bit. Yeah, because go ahead. We don't, we don't know how this is going to end, right? We have no, I mean, so, you know, Gideon, uh, the, the, the way the question is framed is the assumption that the Europe and the West are newly armed and unified. Well, let's say that three years from now, uh, there's still a grinding war with insurgency going on in the Ukraine and uh, Donald Trump is reelected and immediately pulls the United States out of NATO. Well, all of a sudden, it's not such a unified Europe and the West anymore, and Putin has won. Um, and so I think that we don't want to accept a teleology here in which what's happening two weeks into the crisis is reflective of what it's going to look like two or three years from now. Um, I, I think that uh, there's a lot of bets that still need to be hedged here. And, it, and Mark's point does emphasize that, that what happens domestically in the United States and in other places is going to have an enormous impact on 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 how the, a multipolar world works itself out. I think, and that and that's true in the Middle East too. I mean, you can imagine if 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 uh, the concatenation of circumstances that Amani pointed to leads to upheavals in Egypt. I mean, that will that will change the region. If there are if there are you know in in the post Khamenei period in Iran, if there are serious changes in Iran's view of, of its role in the region, that could, that could also uh, affect in a more ameliorating way the, 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 policy, the politics of the Middle East. I mean, another way of putting this, maybe if you agree, is, is that, and Gideon's question I think is getting at this, the factors, the things we're looking at now as contingencies mm -hmm. are things that for so long we, ass we assumed were not actually contingent, you know, they were fixed. And, and now they're all in play again. And that's actually why this is such a confusing moment, I think. Thanks for that question, Gideon.